I invite His Excellency K.P. Sharma Oli, Prime Minister of Nepal, to address the assembly. Mr. President, Mr. Secretary General, Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, Namaste. I am deeply honored to deliver this statement as chair of the group of the least developed countries. At the outset, I extend my heartfelt appreciation to the Secretary General for convening this historic and significant summit. Mr. President, the group of LDCs have contributed in the best possible manner to make this summit of the future a success. However, our minds are musing and hearts are hurting from the fact that millions of children in LDCs go hungry every day. When millions of our children go hungry today, where is our future? What do, we mean, what do we, we mean by future? When millions of our youth linguist with malnourishment and illiteracy, where can we seek our future? Nothing could be more unjust and unethical than to be ignorant to the fact that millions of people in LDCs living in extreme poverty while a small minority in some corners of the world accumulates billions in wealth each day. Is this the future we aspire to? Absolutely not. International community must act now to ensure every child and young person has the chance to thrive. Mr. President, LDCs face severe economic challenges with unmet ODA and climate financing commitments, insufficient and delayed international support, and spiraling debt distress. Most critically, global financial and trading regimes remain fundamentally unfavorable to LDCs. Furthermore, the growing digital divide between rich and poor countries threatens to leave LDCs even further behind. Despite contributions, contributing a mere 3.3 percent of global greenhouse gas emission, LDCs are among the most un 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 vulnerable to the um, dis devastating impacts of climate change. The people of LDCs are frustrated by the continuation of these civil structural impediments and climate injustice which hider their path to prosperity. Mr. President, we must act now to pull the world back from the brink of catastrophe. For this, we need coordinated, comprehensive, and science-based policy, policies with LDCs at the center. Investing in productive capacities, sustainable industrialization, infrastructure, and economic diversification is crucial. Equally important is transforming global governance and strengthening institutions to make them fit for purpose. Mr. President, in this context, we all heartedly welcome the Pact for the Future. As, the, as a manifesto for future generations, as a blueprint, blueprint for a peaceful, prosperous, and sustainable future, as a renewed commitment to multilateralism, putting the UN at its core. We equally welcome the adoption of declaration on the future generation and global digital compact, and emphasize the need for its effective implementation for the well-being of people and planet. Mr. President, the pact encapsulates the hopes and optimism of both people and the planet by reinstalling the inter-
I thank the Prime Minister of Nepal. Nepalkhabar.com 